What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you the best settings to use for Death Stranding on your Steam Deck. Now before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed, because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Mismo Dav for being a channel supporter. If you want to become a channel member, click on that join button below. Alright, so into the video itself, what am I talking about and what settings do we have here? So we're going to go ahead and stand up and take a look at the world. This is my setting that I use for quality. When I want something to look really, really nice, um, but I don't really care too much about frame rate, this is what I use. You're going to notice it's a little bit laggy because I wanted to show you the full frame rate, but I'm going to show you how to actually fix that. So right now, we are getting about 54 frames per second, which isn't too bad, but it isn't where we want to be. So what we do is we go into System, Options, and let's take a look at our graphic settings. So in our graphic settings, we are using the highest resolution they offer for ours. Uh, they don't have a aspect ratio that matches the uh, Steam Deck. So we're going to use 1280 by 720 and 16 by 9. And uh, right now we have it at 60 frames per second. But you're going to see what happens when we change it to 30. Uh, for the graphics quality, I have everything set up to high. Everything is on. And I'm using AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0. We can actually turn that off so you can see the frame rate beforehand. And we'll turn on anti-aliasing, the TAA, which is actually what I prefer. And then we turned off motion blur because motion blur is awful. <laughs> so off for awful. Now let's try these graphic settings. So without the super resolution, we're getting about 43 to 45 frames per second. Not the best. And we're getting a little bit of lag when we try and look around. Uh, there, it, It's a little jagged. You can't really tell too much, but it does feel like it's like jumping slightly. So to fix this, we actually tell it not to try and achieve the full 60. If we actually go in here and go to our graphic settings and change this to 30 frames per second as the maximum frame rate and save this, it's going to report 60. It's going to look just as nice, but it's really only going to be rendering 30 frames per second. But you're not going to have any of that lag from before. Now, I actually prefer using uh, AMD Super Resolution, so I'll show you how to do that as well. So this is with no Super Resolution used. We're just limiting it to a technical 30 frames per second. So this is what you would call the visual um, one. This is the, the high quality setting. So if you want a 60 frames per second playable fun setting we're just going to go into options graphic settings and then we're going to go and switch this back to 60 because we do want the full rendered 60 frames per second we can leave uh, model detail at high memory streaming high or we're going to leave model detail at default not very high just regular high <laughs> Shadow resolution is fine, even though we can get more frames per second with medium. So maybe even change to medium just to get it at a steady uh, FPS. Screen space reflections and ambient inclusion. I normally turn these off, but for the sake of beauty, we can actually leave these on. doesn't affect it too much. And I do recommend uh, Super Resolution 2.0. I do not recommend Ultra Performance. Either use Performance or Balance. So I'm going to use Performance. And then under Sharpness, make sure that's set to 100. Depth of field, you can leave that on if you'd like. Um, motion blur, I prefer it off because it just keeps things really clean and crisp. And now let's take a look. Now we're getting 53, 58, 60 frames per second, 55. And gameplay is perfect. Everything works and runs really, really well. We can actually get this up to 60 if we want to do that. Let's go ahead and head back to options. Let's go to graphic settings, and let's turn some of these settings that aren't as necessary off. So for example, we can leave model detail at low, shadow resolution at low. We don't need ambient occlusion or screen space reflections, and we don't need depth of field. Let's go ahead and confirm that, and we can take a look at what changed. So now we have a basically ultra playable. It still doesn't report a full 60 frames per second, but it definitely feels smooth and 60 frames per second. Uh, this is what I usually play on. It looks amazing. I mean, it looks amazing already on here at 1080p, but you can imagine how good this looks. But this is the one that closest uh, feels like it's running at 60 frames per second. We are using that super resolution, so that does help us a bit. 
but it just feels and runs really, really well. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I was actually surprised to see uh, the Steam Deck being able to perform on this level, uh, 60 frames per second, 45 plus on very high ultra essentially settings. Um, and I do think that the 720p resolution helps with that, but it's still very, very, very capable. Super cool. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section with which video you'd like me to do a benchmark on. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. To games to end up used with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh. Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, uh.